Um, Mr. Herman Lopez, uh, hi. Hi. Uh, hopefully you can hear me and see me. I can hear you and I can see you very, very well. Um, so Perfect. Mr. Lopez is with Ion Blocks, and he'll be telling us about high energy, fast charging lithium ion cells enabled by pre-lithiated silicon anodes. So Dr. Lopez, you have a, about 18 minutes um, and uh, good luck. Great. Thank you. So first, uh, thank you for the invitation. So again, uh, my name is Herman Lopez. Uh, I'm the CTO and co-founder of Ion Blocks. We, um, we, we just recently rebranded. Previously, we were Zen Labs Energy, uh, as, as, as some of you might know. So again, I'll be talking about a high energy, fast charging lithium ion cells enabled by pre-lithiated silicon anodes. So that will be key in the presentation. So just a quick overview. Um, we uh, develop high energy, high power, and fast charging lithium ion batteries for primarily two applications at this time, electric vehicles and aerial vehicle applications. We have, um, just to give you a little bit of background, we have a, um, our R&D center in Fremont, California, and we also have a cell prototyping line in, in China. So we, um, we have developed a proprietary pre-lithiated silicon-based anode that uh, when, we compare, when we pair with, with a high-capacity cathode, it can be NMC, uh, we can achieve very high specific energy, uh, up to 400 watt-hour per kilogram. And uh, this, uh, from the, these high-energy cells, they also have a lot of very nice characteristics like high power, long endurance that uh, I, I will be sharing. This performance uh, has been validated by different national labs for EV electric vehicle applications, as well as uh, EVTOL, so vertical takeoff and landing applications by, by I guess this is public, Lilium, which we're saying here, which, uh, is a EVTOL, leading EVTOL player uh, in Germany and uh, our investor of our company. So uh, we, we have funded joint programs in both EV and AV uh, development. And lastly, we have a um, strong IP position with 41 issued US patents and many pending at this point. So uh, just uh, going into the technology. So we, we have overcome the fundamental cycling and swelling challenges associated with, with silicon. I think there's a lot of people working on silicon at this time. And this is one of the biggest challenges. There's, there's a lot of, uh, as you alloy and de-alloy, there's a lot of swelling that, that is involved with, uh, with silicon. So we have solved this problem. And uh, we have demonstrated cells that cycle greater than 1,000 cycles, high energy, high power, fast charge for our applications. And uh, th the way we do this, we, uh, we have a unique uh, approach where we use micron-sized silicon, first of all, it's a silicon oxide. Um, and uh, we, we, have, uh, we have developed over the years a proprietary formulation uh, for the electrode where we have uh, precisely engineered the, the loading, the density, the porosity, the physical attributes of this electrode, as well as the formulation of the electrodes, of the silicon and electrodes with, with a unique uh, high-strength binder uh, it has high mechanical strength and high uh, flexibility as well to, to, uh, to be able to support the large volume expansion. And we also have a carbon nanotube matrix that improves the mechanical stability as well as the electronic conductivity. We, uh, we also have developed uh, pre-lithiation, and I'll talk a little bit about this in, in the next slides, but this is key to, uh, to making this work. We uh, also have unique... Uh, uh, proprietary electrolyte formulations that form a strong solid electrolyte interface that is necessary for, for long endurance or cycling and similar the formation process as well. So there's a lot of key benefits that, that uh, having a, a silicon dominant uh, cell uh, introduce 4X capacity over graphite. Uh, and we can get very high specific uh, energy from 350 or 300 to 400 watt hour per kilogram. It, we can make a design the, the engineer, the electrodes very precisely to enable high power and fast charge, low cost as well, um, and um, an ease in manufacturability with the existing lithium ion battery lines. 
So this is a 